for so much as a state of mania may be seen as a sort of hyper-reality, full of synergized thoughts in the sense that anything is possible and one need only reach out to make it possible. Depression is a deep freeze where those things that seem possible in mania or plausible during a normal mood state become things that are impossible to achieve during depression. It may be that the impossibility stems from an unwillingness to make the thing possible. Whatever the case, it amounts to the same thing, an impossibility brought about by either a lack of willingness to do the thing, or more to the point, an utter lack of capacity. It is the lack of capacity that may be the impediment to any sort of progress for the depressed person. If it becomes impossible to do something either because of a lack of will or perhaps your thinking becomes clouded and you can no longer figure it out. These are the very real impediments that most surely in some instances lead to a state of distribution, destitution for the depressed person. You may lose your job because you cannot do the work. With no job, you may eventually end up without a situation. With no situation, you have no room over your head. You have no roof and are exposed to the elements. However the thing plays out, one may imagine that the manic depressive cycle could not have led to good outcomes prior to some sort of social safety net. A manic depressive may have found oneself eventually alone or in debtor's prison. It was only with the emergence of asylums that there was a place to keep people like this. But those asylums came to existence during the 19th century and don't really exist anymore, having been replaced by a prevailing wisdom that seeks to treat the mentally ill with medication, not always effective. But there is the street and jail for those that fall through the safety net. <clears throat>